Hey, fourth grade student musicians, welcome to week 29. Here we go, fourth grade. So to start with, we're looking at slide two. Um, and on slide two, we are looking at orchestra, family, and anatomy. So I thought we'd start off with, first of all, looking at this and talking about what's your family look like? Do you have any of these people? Do you have one of these? One of these? One of these or one of these? Okay. And you can listen to those if you want to. Then taking it from your house to the instrumental orchestra house, look at the families that are created in this group. And we'll bring this up and you'll find the curtain getting ready to open and voila, it opens. And look what we have here. We have a grouping of instrument families. Now, one of the things you probably do know, and if you don't, you probably should, is where do all these things line up? Like, for instance, who's first? Who do we see first when we look at a symphony orchestra? And we may even look at one before this um, year is up uh, so you can kind of get an idea of what they really do look like. But to let you know, the strings are in the front. And right behind them will be the woodwinds. Finally, behind those are the brass. And finally, the group in the very back, the bangers and the boomers, the scrapers and the shakers, the percussion family. All right, I'll let you look at that and have a little bit more fun with that. You can stay a little bit longer in these. I'm going through them quickly so you can see what's there. So as we discussed, I've kind of put them in order. Starting with the string family, you'll be able to go here and you will be able to look at all of the different string instruments in the family. Start with violin, the smallest, the viola, the cello, and then the double bass. Um, then we'll look at the woodwind family, which is right behind the string family, usually. And you'll be able to see some of the woodwind families that are in the symphony orchestra which will be the piccolo, the flute, the oboe, the clarinet, the bassoon, and the bass clarinet. Feel free to click on all these and hit the reveal so you can see some of the different parts of the instrument so you can know a little bit more about them. This is kind of basic, not a, uh, an advanced um, tutorial or anatomy of each one, but just giving you a basic idea of, of what the different parts are of the different instruments. Um, then we'll go to the brass family. And uh, the thing about the brass family is, there's not a whole lot to the anatomy there, whether you're talking about basic or um, advanced. When you reveal these, you've got basically a mouthpiece that you blow into, valves that you press down, a slide that you can change the entire tuning of the entire instrument, and then the bell where the sound comes out. And then you got the trumpet, the French horn, the trombone, and the tuba going from highest to lowest. Now trombone, you'll notice there are no valves, although I have seen trombones with valves. This one does not, it has a slide only and it just slides and uh, you get the sound and you may have some older brothers sisters that play some of these instruments so you probably know a little bit about it already but if you don't this is a really great way for you to get an entry level introduction to some of the different instruments families that you might actually end up wanting to play in fifth or sixth grade in the middle school i th i think they actually start at six here at Benville public schools and then finally uh last but not least the the bangers the boomers the scrapers and the shakers the percussion family and there are a gazillion of them. So I found this really cool video for the Green Bean uh, Factory, and you can look at it, and it'll take you through kind of what I took you through in the first couple of slides. Okay, I, got, I hope you enjoy that. Moving on to slide number three, we'll be spending some time talking about guitar and fretted instruments. And you'll be able to start here and look at this, and you'll bring this up. And this will bring up instrument anatomies of different fretted instruments like the ukulele. You'll notice it only has four strings. And as you press the reveal, you'll see that. Um, the acoustic guitar, which if you did not already know, it has six strings. Um, every animal deserves great breakfast every day. E-A-D-G-V-E, -E, if you uh, need to know the strings. Uh, and you'll see here, and this one's a little bit more advanced. It shows you some of the different parts of the instrument. The electric guitar, 
shows you some of the different parts there. And then, of course, the banjo. Really, really a cool instrument. I used to know some people who played it. It's a lot of fun. Um, and I think the art teacher at uh, Mary Mae Jones may play this. Um, or at least uh, he was at Mary Mae Jones. Um, so, uh, Mr. Smith, Mr. Bo Smith. Anyway, um, of course, he can play anything, Freddie. He can play guitars, everything. Uh, so if you ever get a chance to watch him, he's he's pretty amazing. Okay, so there's that. And then here we have a fun game, Instrument Jeopardy. You might know a little bit about that. And this will cover not just the guitar and fretted instruments, but this will cover the orchestral instruments as well. Okay. Um, then we'll look here at the uh, piano. And we'll look at some of the other instruments. Uh, uh, the, uh, and on this one, you can just listen to it if you want to, or you can play along. Um, okay, let's kick on. This one is a fun little guitar quiz, and I will actually be taking a couple questions from this quiz for our quiz later on, but this is just kind of a practice quiz for you to have a little bit of fun with. And then we'll do All About the Bass, which is a fun little uh, cue creative that we can add bass to. So when you listen to this and you play it, you hear that, but really you need to add some bass to it. And we'll talk more about that in the individual slides as we get to them. Okay, uh, rounding out our uh, studies of music and musical things, we'll look at uh, chords and scales, and I'll spend some more time talking about those with you there. We'll finish up our, actually we'll do our, uh, well, I guess what we call our final four of the March Music Madness and get ready for the uh, final four of the championships. Um, and then finally, uh, that will be it. And you'll get a chance to tell me what your favorite thing was. Okay. I will talk to you soon.